Hello everyone, welcome back after a long time. And today we will see estimation and costing of forging part. This is basically important from the uh, industry point of view. Okay, so whatever we are doing, so that we have to do estimation and costing. Like uh, for example, if you make a forged part, like a crankshaft. Okay, sorry, connecting rod. Let us take example of connecting rod. So you have to give the estimation estimation of like how much material raw material we require. How much time it will be take? How much the costing like like uh, uh, material cost plus labor cost and uh, surplus cost? Okay, so that we have to give the estimation and that is the main function of an engineer. Okay, so we will see estimation and costing of different different parts like uh, forging or welding and sheet metal also. So today we will start with forging and this is a part one. There will be four parts in and this is the first part in this part we will see how much the volume estimation like how much volume of material we require and in second part we will see one numerical or one practical example like uh, based on how much volume is required for finished product in third part we will analyze time and cost and in fourth part we will see one case study or you can say that one example on how to calculate volume plus time and cost also so this is the part one so let's start i hope you know all what is the forging process okay so here basically we have to find first how much material is required volume that we have to find okay so there are some some steps to find out the net weight for example if you want to do a connecting rod if you want to uh, forge a connecting rod so it will be shaped like this i'm drawing rough drawing okay not exactly but it may be like this there is some pockets also here is the one so this is the connecting rod and how to analyze that uh, what how much raw material is required so this is the four steps first is break up the job into the suitable geometrical section like uh, here there is a circle here there is an ellipse and this is a rectangle so first break up that part into some non geometrical shape okay that we know the area and volume of rectangle circle ellipse parabola okay so break up into sim simple simple geometrical entities then next find the volume of each section and neglect the corner and like if there is a fillet or chamfer so neglect it okay we will take in, into the consideration okay then third point that find the net volume total volume that means after subtracting for example if this is a hollow uh, hollow circle or hollow diameter of like 10 mm diameter hole is there so subtract it and add the losses here i have written add losses what kind of losses that we are going to see in next okay in this video only and last calculate the weight of component by multiplying with its density for example if you have uh, found a 10 meter cube total volume of the forging and uh, you are going to cast with a stainless steel okay sorry cast not cast forge of stainless steel material so multiply uh, with density this volume and multiply with density with stainless steel or whatever material you are using so you will get the total weight so up to now i hope you are clear so what kind of uh, losses are there here i have written add losses so which kind of losses are there so there are basically four three to four losses first is tongue losses you have seen in you might have seen in the youtube videos and uh, in practical also that uh, these kind of tongues are there long very long tongues are there and here some workpieces hold very red hot above recrystallization temperature and here there is a workpiece is hammering like this okay so this much part is not get forged okay so this we have to take additionally for holding so that is also a loss for us okay so generally it is taken as 2 to 3 centimeter of stroke length here i have already marked 2 to 3 centimeter of stroke length means for example if your uh, length of workpiece is 20 centimeter forged component so 2 to 3 centimeter of uh, that means uh, or you can say that multiply with 2 to 3 okay 
not multiply with add or two to three centimeter for example here 20 centimeter so we will generate a 23 centimeter or 22 centimeter additional okay so total length will be 23 centimeter okay next is scale loss and this is a major loss okay this is a major loss why major loss because we have seen uh, whenever uh, the component is heated above recrystallization temperature and come out and if it took out from the furnace and start forging by pressing the uh, hydraulic press and die and punch above it so on the surface there are scales various scale formation starting and as you uh, pro apply the load then scale will form out from the surface and just broke out of the surface and fall down okay so that we have to take into into the consideration also so that is the six percent of the total weight for example if your your weight is 100 kg so you have to add six percent that means six kg additional for scale losses so total 106 this is i'm giving the exact example okay next is flash losses uh, you know the flash is what that is a additional material that we provide in a, a thin blade form okay to ensure if there is a flash is there if you provide flash there and what happens it ensure that the your cavity that you are forging that is properly filled otherwise uh, flash shows if if you not provide the flash then it will you cannot ensure about in in case of closed die forging that uh, if the material is prop cavity is properly filled by material or not so generally we take 20 mm wide and 3 mm thick uh, flash around the periphery okay so this is the equation that is total volume of the flash that is periphery multiplied by 20 multiplied by 3 mm cube okay next is shear losses what is shear loss generally what uh, let wait a second yes generally there is a one long bars or raw materials are like ingot okay so generally what we are doing we are cutting some length so there is some losses also and we are cutting again and again and there is some it is not exactly the size that uh, we take it out like we there is we have 100 centimeter uh, length of ingot and we require 20 20 centimeters so that is not possible in each and every case so there is some portion that is, is not useful anymore so that is also loss so that we are taking five percent of the net weight and the last is sprue losses what is sprue loss let me show you with the drawing some figure here it is a long tongue okay long tongue that we are holding it work material and this is a workpiece like this and here we are applying pressure and we are doing forging so up to this section we have hold in the tongue so we have taken loss in the, into the tongue and if you see that we are not applying pressure up to this point we are generally providing pressure up to this point only this much so this material this portion blue portion that is extra okay that is connecting part between the actual forge part and the part that has been hold by tongue that is the connecting part that is known as sprue okay you have studied in casting also sprue so generally we are taking sprue losses as a seven percent of the total weight okay so these are the losses first for example if i summarize all the things so it will be like for example if total weight is 100 kg so then you have to add some uh, oxidation that is scale loss is six percent then uh, volume shear loss is five percent and seven percent sprue losses plus additional that is those losses like flash and uh, first one is like uh, our tongue loss okay so flash plus tongue loss that has been based on volume so we have to convert into weight also flash plus tongue volume so it will be around uh, uh, 125 to 130 kg in between so this is you can see what is the difference between actual force component and this is the uh, we require so that's why the estimation of accu accurate estimation is very necessary but 
in general if you are in hurry and uh, if you have to do the estimation in very very fast okay like uh, if you are no time the deadline is very near so generally you can take 15 to 20 percent generally we are taking as a 20 percent of the final volume or final weight net weight like if this is a 100 kg so add 20 percent that is 120 kg rough and tough estimation okay i hope you clear all all these points how the losses are calculated and we find the gross weight okay how we are finding gross weight so in next video we will see one problem based on this like uh, what is the raw material volume and what is the raw material weight for actual product and the we required for forging so hope you enjoyed it if you have any doubt and if you want any more further information then you can ask in the comment section also and subscribe this channel for this part 2 3 and 4 and upcoming other estimation and costing and many more videos thank you for watching this video